Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com. We're here at the 2009 Detroit Auto Show taking a look at two American luxury crossovers. First we have the Cadillac SRX and also the Lincoln MKT. Now while a lot of the vehicles shown at this show are very forward looking and futuristic, both of these crossovers will be available in summer 2009. The new SRX continues on the design theme Cadillac's put forward in its CTS sedan with the edgy look that's going across the model line. You can see it up here with this front grille and headlight treatment. It's also going to be available with 18 or 20 inch aluminum wheels. This is Lincoln's new MKT luxury crossover. Now it shares this platform with the Ford Flex but it has a completely different look on the outside. As you can see from the front of the vehicle it has a large version of Lincoln's new corporate grille and as you go around to the back it has a sleek look that finishes off with a wide tail lamp. So compared to the MKT, this one has a more athletic, compact look overall and in my eye comes out as the styling champ. The interior of the SRX has been completely redesigned and features premium materials like this soft touch dashboard with stitching on it, real metal trim around the center console and air vents, and nice wood grain accents too. It's a very premium look and is in keeping with the buyer this model is trying to attract. This is the interior of the MKT, and like the Cadillac SRX, it has an upscale look to it. You can see on the dash, it has soft touch materials with a stitch dash, nice wood grain trim accents on the dash and the steering wheel. And overall, the look is pretty premium. Both the SRX and MKT have premium interiors, but when you look at them both side by side, the SRX is slightly better, so it comes out on top in the interior quality category. I want to take a look at comfort of these two crossovers and what they have to offer. Now in a change from the previous SRX, the new model is only available with a five seat configuration. The previous one you could get an optional third row. And it's a smaller vehicle overall than the MKT, so in the back seat you're not going to have as much room as that three row model, but it's still decently spacious for adult passengers. The back seat can recline, but you have to turn around up high to get to the lever to do so. This is the back seat of the MKT and you can see it's available with this optional two bucket seat configuration. You can also get a bench seat if you want. And there's good leg room and headroom for adults in this space. So the MKT has an advantage over the SRX and that's a bigger vehicle overall than that crossover. But that helps translate into more interior space and gives the MKT the win in this category. Now on to features. Now the SRX is available with a number of luxury features that you might expect like adaptive headlights, a pop-up nav screen, and also in the back seat where I am this dual screen rear entertainment system with the screens that flip up right here. The MKT has the features you expect in a luxury crossover like adaptive cruise control and a blind spot warning system, but it also adds to that features that a lot of other models don't have like Ford Sync Entertainment System for connecting portable music players to the vehicle, and also Sirius Traveling technology that can show you where the lowest gas prices are in your city. So the MKT wins in the features category, leaving the SRX with two wins and the MKT with two wins. We haven't driven either of these models yet though, so we'll have to hold off on final judgment. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.